Good morning guys. I would like to give you an update on the propagation of my rubber tree. I use the air marketing method which is a sure successful way to propagate our rubber trees. So uh, later I will give you a review on how to do this process. Well for my rubber tree I, um, I was able to cut the marketed rubber stems already and here is how they look like. I would also like to emphasize on choosing the right branch. So as you can see, even after marketing, this rubber tree still looks like a bonsai rubber tree. The, the branches on top is still full. So uh, I was able to choose a mature branch. So for example, uh, I was able to cut off the mature branch of this stem so it was cut in this area and currently it is being replaced by one two three four four new stems so in the process the top portion of this tree will now be bushier so that it would retain um, the beauty of uh, having a bushy top of the tree there I would like also to give you a short review on how to do air marketing or air layering as how I thought in the last video so you will use a cutter to remove the bark of the matured stem of the rubber tree so I will show you uh, a diagram on how to do this after removing the bark you would then use peat moss you could you could uh, buy this from gardening shops um, you will um, cover the, the stem with no bark with peat moss and then you will tie a plastic, plastic string around it to hold the peat moss. After which you would now start to spray the peat moss with Anaa growth promoter or these are this is a, a root hormone mixed with water so you will spray that um, twice a day one once during early morning and another before night time at around 5 p.m and then after a month or so you will now see um the roots starting to form when the roots are around four inches long you can then cut the stem and replant it to the soil i'd like to show you the marketed stems of the rubber tree so as you can see they have uh, green soft leaves leaves on top that means that these are the new leaves meaning the plant is already fully established so this plant is a two stem rubber tree and then this one has is it's it has more stems one two three three four so this is a four stem rubber plant okay and then this one was marketed from a single stem but there are a lot of new stems one two three four and fifth okay that's the fifth stem making it five new stems 
Okay, so that's what's nice about air marketing or air layering. You can actually produce um, mul uh, multi-stem cuttings. So definitely, um, air marketing or air layering is more successful than just uh, directly cutting and putting the stem directly in the ground without rooting uh, what else don't forget when when replanting your stems don't put it under direct sunlight yet just let it stay um, in a bright in a bright indirect light for the meantime and so that's it hoping that you you learn you learned a lot in on how to successfully propagate your rubber trees thanks for watching